welcome to Jacob and Sarah's wedding. There is no more lovely, friendly, and charming relationship, communion, and company than a good marriage. I see that in both of you. After a year of just spending time talking about God's word and what marriage looks like as you walk with him, I've seen that. I met Sarah uh, at my fraternity house back in September 2016. We were having a mixer together, which is what we do for our uh, Greek life. And uh, today, she's going to be my life partner. Super excited about it and uh, looking forward to it. I'm in. Let's go. Let's go. go. Today I'm most excited to just be in the presence of all of our family and friends and loved ones and um, just to have that special moment with Jake. Today I'm most excited about seeing my beautiful bride Sarah. It's been a long time coming, lots of planning, lots of long nights, lots of long hours of work. but. I'm just so excited to see her and everything she's put into this, and I know it's going to be a, a fantastic day. Jake, I just want you to know that this day is going to be the most perfect day for us, and beyond this day, we are going to live such a truthful and happy life. Let's just get this show on the road, honey. I love you. Sarah, I just want you to know that this is going to be the happiest day of her life. I'm so excited for today. I love you more than anything, and I know today is just the start of our new journey together. I'm looking forward to seeing you here in a few hours. I love you so much. Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ and gives three characteristics of the person who is filled with the Holy Spirit. You both have incredible gratitude for each other. You love each other. You're thankful for each other. That comes from the Spirit. Wives, submit to your own husbands as to the Lord. And remember I told you what that tells you, Jake. You walk in partnership with Sarah. She is to be a sounding board. She is to be someone that makes decisions with you and walks beside you. In the same way husbands love their wives as their own bodies, he who loves his wife loves himself. First of all, is making sure that your wife's greatest need is met and that is her security. Take care of her, Jake. She's precious. She's been given to you by God. So take care of her. I, Jacob, take you, Sarah, to be my wedded life. Wife. <laughs> I, Sarah, take you, Jacob, be my wedded husband. And I promise and covenant before God and these witnesses to be your loving, faithful husband in, in plenty and in want, in joy and in sorrow, in sickness and in health, for as long as we both shall live. For as long as we both shall live. As a minister of the gospel of Jesus Christ and with the power vested in me by the state of Pennsylvania, I now pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, nobody better mess with. Jacob, kiss your bride.
I'd just like to start off by saying thank you to everyone for joining us, Jake's family and Sarah's, on such a blessed day when they become Mr. and Mrs. Podelsky. Is a now to Jake. Soon as you walk through our door, as parents of us, you are our family. But now, you are stuck with us. I can't honestly say I couldn't have asked for the Lord to send a better man than he gave my little girl. Sarah, you're always going to be our little girl, and we as parents will always be here for you. But Jake, always will be here for you too. I love you, Sarah and Jake. Love you. Jake is like my little brother. He is the kind, most kind-hearted person I have ever met in my life. He, um, he sees the good in everything, and he never, ever gets out of control or angry, and I respect that more than anything. Jake and Sarah, I'm so happy you're in the family. So when I first heard about Sarah, we were down in spring break, okay? Other guys are drinking, and I'm like, yeah, this is a good vibe, good vibe. I'm like, where's Jake? Where, like, where is he? This is all him. He loves this. And I go in, he's just head down in his phone, he's like, I'm open. I'm like, Jake, what's wrong? He's like, oh man, there's this girl. I'm like, what? So no, but this whole time, like we were down in spring break, partying, having a good time, and he didn't stop talking about it. From the moment I heard Sarah talk about Jake, I knew he was different. Love isn't easy, love is a work in progress. And when I look at Sarah and Jake, I know what love is. I wish I could even think of words to say that make up for how much you mean to me. So I'll just say this. I love you. I loved you yesterday. I'll love you tomorrow. And I promise I'll love you forever. Always remember that feeling when you first fell in love and never stopped trying. You can never overuse the sayings, I love you, and yes, dear. And always remember that love conquers all. 